Welcome back guys, we're back to Silver Line and we caused a, a whole village of demi-humans to be, you know, killed by our actions, or rather my actions. Yeah! Oh boy, that wasn't too good. But here we are back at the inn, and now we got to um, think of a plan to escape the knights. Here we go. The air is heavy, and our spirits are low. Kitsune left for Lucrane to gather intel on the current situation, but he's yet to return. And two days have passed already. I can only hope that, there, that she isn't doing anything too reckless. And that nothing bad has happened to her. A new addition to our group sits in the foot of the bed and it's the person we helped get... Oh, I'm sorry. I am so sorry for your loss. That's on me. That's definitely on me. A cloak hiding her unusual features. Much like her demi-humans harbor a strong hatred towards humans. Oh, she definitely hates me now. She hates me that I'm human already, now she really hates me. That's great. Humans, are, humans aren't humans are too fond of interacting with them either. It's best to keep their identity hidden for now. It's all my fault. If we hadn't tricked you, there would have been no need for bloodshed. Lucas, it wasn't your fault, it was mine. It was my plan. Only a handful of demi-humans survived the ambush. They gathered together and met with the Oracle to discuss how to handle Guardian's betrayal. She had helped the two to create Queen most wanted criminals escape. Even if she had been deceived into trusting them, that was no minor offense. In aiding the human fugitives, you have not only endangered your brethren, but you have placed our tribe in a vulnerable position. Our relationship with Lucarine is now strained, and for that, I sentence you to be exiled from Camaria. Because of us, the former Guardian is now exiled from the only home she's ever known. Fate is a cruel mistress, but with nowhere else to go, Lucas insists that she joins us. I, I didn't protest. It's the least we could do to make up for things that we've done. <laughs> the silence is tense and unnerving. Emotions are high. We aren't so different after all, are we? Um, how should we address you? I try reaching out to her. I still don't even know her name. Amaris is fine. And no. We are nothing alike. Sorry, Amaris. She still sees us as villains. All of us were... All of us were thrust into such an ill-fated narrative. It's no wonder she doesn't trust us. But even so, I feel like if we could just talk things out, maybe we could come to an understanding. Now's my chance. I need to apologize for everything. I'm so sorry. We never... We never would have tricked you if we knew it would have led to this. I understand that you are not directly at fault for what happened to the Crystal Forest. But, but I am, though. It was your ignorant ruler who made that heartless decision. But running away from your crimes and dragging the Kimaria into your problems was foolish. Uh, yes, it was wrong of us to bring you in like this. There is a reason Maul's exist. It is to make sure that no one is exempt from the consequences of their actions. Amaris is still under the impression that I killed King Edward. That we're fugitives running from our incur incarceration. If you are truly sorry, you will turn yourselves in. But we didn't do it though! It, we were framed! I know it sounds hard to believe, but it wasn't us! Oh, do we actually tell her though? That's the problem! Because if we do, she's- oh no. But if she's gonna join us, she needs to, you know, know why we're running away. Because she thinks we did it, but we didn't. So we need to confirm to her before anything else goes... Yeah, I think we need to tell her. She's one of us now. I should tell the truth. She would understand. I smile sadly. It's easy to judge when you don't know the full situation. And please, enlighten me. This is going to be a long story. Yeah. So, you are saying that he really is of royal blood, and his own uncle is after his head. While you, yourself, happen to a victim of mutiny. Hmm. That would explain why he resorted to such drastic measures. I promise you, I'll make things right. If you are indeed the sole heir to King Edward, reclaim your throne. 
Start you must easy. undo what injustice has been done. We'll try, but... If King Harrison was willing to destroy the Kamaria tribe merely to further his agenda, there's no telling what else he might do. She's got a point. Our conversation sparks rebellion in Almaris. There's fire in her eyes. I want to help you. I really do. But I'm not an heir. I'm not a prince. I'm just some kid the king picked up off the streets. There's no way anyone would believe me. His shoulders are trembling. No matter where we run, it's clear that anyone who involves themselves with us will meet only misfortune. Harrison made that clear when he burned down the Crystal Forest. But even so, can we really ignore what he's been doing to Lecrane we love so much? Is there nothing we can do? Lucas, even if we run, will we really be free from the King Harrison? What else can we do? We have to try. We don't deserve to keep living like fugitives. Why are you humans all so selfish? There is no telling what else he is capable of. Yet all you think about is yourselves. Only you can stop this. The argument is heating up. I need to tip the scale. Saiwa Maris, not get- Oh, see me, I wouldn't get involved. Me personally, I would not get involved, but I- Nuh-uh. -uh. But, oh boy. I understand- Oh, no. Oh, no, man. No. Uh, mm, no, this is not- No. Okay, Lucas is our friend. We shouldn't have to run like fugitives all the time, but Amaris has a point. If we don't stop him... I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Um... 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 <laughs> oh, God. I know this is a small choice, but to me, I have terrible, terrible choice making. I'm very indecisive. Would it really be impossible for you to dethrone him? We can't just keep pretending that it isn't within our realm of possibility. Even if I try, there's no proof that I'm of royal blood. No one in the right mind would accept me as the heir to the throne when my name's been slandered like this. Lucarine is the oldest, if not the first human civilization in our world. Your very founding legend tells of a power only you can harness to claim your birthright. Do you even know your own history? What are you talking about? That's a no. An old legend of Lucarine. Whoops. Looks like I have terrible timing. You could cut the tension in here with a knife. Our personal ninja jumps in for the window. A habit she doesn't seem to care about breaking. Kitsune! I was starting to think you weren't coming back! You can't get rid of me that easily. <laughs> What's the damage? Lucas looks thankful for Kitsune's timely appearance, as he finally has an excuse to end this discussion with Amaris. We all wait e eagerly, hoping Kitsune to bring good news. Harrison's coronation is in two weeks. Once he's formally appointed as King of Lucarin, things are going to change drastically. In what way? My informant told me he's planning to seize Istria, Segastris, and Tasmanu, and that's only the beginning. You're kidding. He's planning on devouring all of the smaller regions to have them in his arsenal. What? I said... No, I heard you. I just don't think it would come to this. I just didn't think it would come to this. Harrison is extending his territory. He doesn't want... He doesn't just want Lucreen. He wants more. He wants total control of the surrounding kingdoms. From the sound of it, he's ready to take them by force. If anyone is to oppose. What about my people? Any news? We still don't know what happened to the rest of the Chimeria. Even after the fire, all we'd heard so far is that the few surviving members of the tribe were trying to salvage their relationship with Lucreen. From her expression, I can tell that what she's going to say is, isn't pretty. The Chimeria tribe has been completely erased. You're the sole survivor. I'm so sorry. No, that can't be. The Oracle, Mila, Oriana, my sisters. The situation was far worse than we thought. 
Harrison had not only shown the, de the demi-humans no mercy, he had commanded genocide. There was no longer uncomfortable pause. There was a long uncomfortable pause. Amara sits back down and buries her face in her hands, closing the world out. Kitsune reaches out to her, but I shake my head. Nothing we could possibly say or do would ever make up for this. At last, Lucas clenches his hands, walks over and gently sits next to Amaris. If, and this is a big if, I did want to prove I was the rightful heir to the throne and end Harrison's rule, how would I do it? Long ago, when humans first set foot in these lands, species from all over the world graced them with gifts beyond their wildest dreams. These humans were capable of harnessing magical ether, and they were blessed as any magical race you see today. But greed soon corrupted their hearts. They wanted more. Playing their part in this world was simply not enough. They wanted to rule over all. The first king, Adam, and his wife, Eve, tried their best to maintain a peaceful coexistence between humans and the other beings of this world. Okay. But they underestimated the malice of the human mind. They couldn't stop their own people from creating an atrocity, the Silver Shard. Many people were sacrificed in the Shard's creation, their magical resources and cores torn apart, drained, and stolen. To make sure this power would never fall into the wrong hands, King Adam and Queen Eve unleashed a curse at the cost of their own lives. Whoever touches the shard shall lose their life, their soul never to return. Years go by, and slowly, surely, no other humans have ever dared seek out the shard. As legend has it, only a true descendant of Adam and Eve would be able to wield the shard's powers once again. That's just a fairy tale. A bedtime story for kids. Maybe that's what they want you to think. Lucas looks around, exasperated. He's still unconvinced. Ugh, this is absurd. I can't honestly believe all this. Hey, help me out here. You're the only sensible one in this room. Why are you running away when you have the ability to save your own people? I'm not running away. There's no way that... Lucas and Amaris continue to argue. In all my time studying as an um, Imperial Scholar, I had never encountered any evidence that the Silver Shard exists. But if it does, where's the Silver Shard now? The Oracle knows. But the Oracle's... gone. The room falls silent. Even if the Silver Shard is... <clears throat> Apologies. Even if the, the Silver Shard is real, we have no way to, to locate it. And the only person who knew of the location has already been executed. I think I might know someone who can solve our problem. Don't tell me. No. No, 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 no. Please. Oh, no. You're back? Sorry, but I've got a strict no refund policy. It's about any problems with your purchases, I suggest you mosey along. We're not here to talk about the documents. Silver Shard, tell us what you know. As soon as I mention the Shard, I feel the sharp gaze of everyone in the tavern, their eyes intently watching us. I should have been more careful with my words. We should talk somewhere more private. Yeah, good point. Saber leads us outside the streets, almost empty in the hour of the night. I can't make any promises, but rumor has it that the Silver Shard resides in the Demisio Ruins. Those ruins only exist in legend. There's no such place on any map I know. I don't recall ever hearing about them either. Ah, uh, but you see, they aren't just a legend. The Demisio Ruins really do exist. And I can get you there, but it's going to cost you. Oh no. How do we know you're not lying to us? You could just be leading us anywhere. 
to any old ruins, knowing we wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Cross my heart. I've been to the ruins myself. These ones are special. Will this cover the expense? Uh, impatient, Amaris reaches into her cloak and pulls out an alluring jewel. The sparkling gem is enchanting, leaving me so mesmerized that it's hard to look away. Where did you get this? Um, this will do just fine. I'll provide the coordinates to your destination. I'm sure it has more to it than just coordinates. Is there something you're not telling us? Saber winks. Hmm, I wouldn't want to disappoint a lady. You have my word. <laughs> I like him. Can we keep him? Thrown off by the re this reaction, Saber roars with laughter. <laughs> I like where this is going. I'd be honored to escort you lot, but uh, again, <clears throat> for a fee. Do you have any more of those jewels, Amaris? Amaris sighs and rolls her eyes, clearly unimpressed. <laughs> oh, great. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. <laughs> More walking. Great. Just what I need. Can we get a wagon or something? These shoes weren't exactly made for long periods of walking. It's a miracle that they were still holding together at all. I should have insisted on getting new footwear when K Kitsune was gathering supplies for the journey. Oh, come on. It's not so bad. We barely even moved yet. Go easy on him, Lucas. He's not accustomed to traveling by foot. He could use the exercise. Excuse me? And besides, we need to cross a mountain, so... And besides, we need to oh. cross a mountain, okay. so the path's way too steep for a wagon. A little weird glitch there. But that's alright. Uh... Ugh, this is more exercise than I get in a year! I'm not an academic! Physical activity isn't really my thing. Physical fitness was the least of my concerns back in the castle. I can solely agree with this man. Holy crap. Exactly why you need the exercise. Okay, dude. I'm a character here, but watch your tone, alright? You're lucky I'm your pal in this in this scene. Kitsune chuckles, siding with Lucas. Is he... Traitor. He's right, you know. A little exercise never hurt anyone. Tell that to me when I have a heart attack. A little? We've been walking for seven hours straight! It's a long journey, and the faster we get there, the faster I can tell you guys I told you so. Ugh. The Silver Shard doesn't exist. Lucas is still skeptical about the whole idea. Though he finally does admit that we need to do something about Harrison. He still won't accept a magical stone that may or may not exist as a solution. Keeps and he chuckles again, amused by our argument. Well, aren't we a lively bunch? Huh, aren't you funny? <laughs> Too lively for my taste. Amaris lifts off her cloak, pleased to rid herself of the, of the garment. There shouldn't be any humans around in this remote area, so she doesn't need to worry about concealing her identity for the time being. Wait, you're a demi-human? Oh yeah, you didn't know. Ah, whoops. Looks like no... Looks like no one bothered to inform Saber, though luckily he doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be mind a demi human being part of the group. It merely caught him off guard. I am not ashamed of who I am. And you shouldn't be, because you're just who you are. There is no need to hide my parents any longer, now that we are outside of Osea. Well, um that explains the jewels. <laughs> we should set up camp here. The sun will be setting soon anyway. Yes! Finally, I can sit down. This is a nice spot. You've got a keen eye for this. I had to camp out during some of my missions, so I have a bit of experience. Hey, help me set up, would you? Oh, come on. I just got comfy. <laughs> oh, hot spring. Lovely. We're gonna get some bromance in here. Oh, yeah. Me, Lucas, Sabre, we're just gonna sit down in a hot tub. <laughs> I finally have a bit of time to unwind. A bath by the river sounds heavenly. The crystal blue streams look so clear and refreshing. I once heard that the rivers are the arities of the forest. Right now I believe it. This one sparkles like tinsel. 
I take off my attire, piece by piece, set them on top of a dry rock. I can't wait to take a dip. The water is comfortably warm in the cool night air, and I smile, finally having some time to myself. Oh my god! I really needed this. I guess I hadn't really let myself relax since the incident. Blissful moments never last, though. I hear rustling nearby and quickly get up to investigate. While naked! Good choice, man! Good choice! What's going on? I nervously move closer, and from the corner of my eye, I notice... Long dark hair, matted hair, pale curls, a soft and short black hair, pink survey locks. Oh, I like this choice! <laughs> you don't oh, look oh, want to no! Die. I thought she. Okay, I didn't know. Oh shit, I didn't think it was this. Okay, wow. I didn't think it meant this. I thought someone was gonna walk in on me. Not in a weird way. Oh wow, oh boy. Oh boy. Boxing test. Upon hearing the voice, my eyes. Invoherently move to meet its source. Kitsune is also bathing in this stream. I'm frozen in place, stunned. Her long pink hair glistens in the water. With her body exposed, I can't help but notice that her bust is much larger than our tire leads one to believe. Yep, yep, I'm that guy right now. I can't take my eyes off her. Don't say that, dude. I said don't look. I'm trying not to, I'm sorry. I'm jolted back to reality as Kitsune splashes me hard in the face. I shake my head, mortified, and wave my arms in panic. I wasn't trying to peek, I swear! You're still staring. I know! I'm sorry! I finally tear my eyes away, turning to my turning my back to turning my back to her. My face flushed and hot. What is wrong with me? Do you mind? Sorry! I give myself a mental slap in the face and quickly crawl out of the water, gathering up my belongings. Well, that was incredibly awkward. Better get back to the camp before it gets too late. <sighs> really? I'm that guy. Of course I'm that guy. Why not? We're back on the road before dawn. My eyes are still beginning to close. My legs barely moving, dragging my feet weakly with them. The mountain's path is narrow, so we walk in a line. One after another. Not scared of heights, are you? We're pretty high up. <laughs> this is nothing compared to the top shelves in the National Library. Clearly it was a joke. This is definitely the highest I've ever been. But I'm too exhausted to care. Sleeping on the ground isn't easy as one might think. I could barely sleep at all. Careful. There's a reason not many travel on this road. Is there perhaps another less risky way to reach Damaris? If there was... Do you think we'd be here right now? <laughs> He's got a point. I gotta give Saber that point. <laughs> the ground is so soft from er erosion. And falling down from this high would be the end of me. Better buckle up and focus. I'll have to step carefully. But right after thinking that, the ground beneath me, my foot begins to crumble. My life flashes before my eyes as I finally realize just how high up we really are. My instincts tell me to before I could have the chance to react, the ground crumbles. Oh, I didn't know it was an Oh, wow, that was kinda cool. The ground crumbles beneath my foot. Someone! Can someone help me? Uh, a pale hand meets mine, pulling me out of the way, just in time. Uh, thanks, Kitsune. Looks like you've saved my life once again. Anytime. We're a team now, remember? We need to look out for each other. Yeah, we need to look for each other. I mean, look out for each other. I, I looked at you in the bath. Sorry. I, I, yeah, sorry. I smile. It's hard to believe I've ever had trouble trusting her. Watch out! Huh. Just when I think it was all over for me, I open my eyes to discover that I haven't fallen at all, despite standing on nothing but air. My jaws drop in amazement as it turns out Amaris turned towards Amaris. Did you... She smiles. <laughs> Aerial magic. Come, we must be on our way. With, with Amaris around, looks like none of us were 
ever really in danger. Sweet. We got magic. We're here. My eyes scan the area, but I don't see anything other than an empty field. The Demersia ruins are nothing but a legend after all. What I expect? From them just sitting out here in the open for everyone to violate? There's a reason nobody believes they exist. See, I told you this was a waste of time. Stop being so negative, Lucas! I'm just being realistic. If the Demesia Ruins and Silver Shard are real, why hasn't anyone tried to harness its power? It's not like I'm the first heir. You're naive to assume no one's tried. For centuries, the royal family of Lucarin has tried a multitude of ways to find a Silver Shard, using every trick in the book. It was only under King Edward's rule that a stop was put to this wild goose chase. King Edward was an honorable man. Any idea how to locate the Demesia ruins, Amaris? I changed the subject without hesitation. Amaris is a demi-human. With a magical core, she's much more in tune with magic than we are. If the if Demesia is protected by magic, she should be able to tell. Though, there are humans born with magical capabilities. Those cases are one in a million these days. Hmm. This area is protected by a specter spell. The Guardian must have placed it. There is likely a demi-human tribe nearby. Her ears twitch, listening carefully. Her senses are sharper than any others. <sighs> That's odd. I cannot sense any of them at the moment. You're a guardian too. So you should be able to dispel it, right? What Kitsune says makes sense. Amaris is also the guardian of the demi-human tribe. So she should be able to remove the spell with ease. I channel my mental library, trying to remember what I know about Guardians. If memory serves me right, Guardians are born with the divine magic even more powerful than the rest of their tribe. Hence why they are usually assigned such an important role. As a former Guardian, it is not that simple. I will need to make contact with the Guardian who is responsible, and establish a bond. There must be another way. The Spectre spell merely conceals and manipulates space, right? It just loops point A to point B, so it prevents us from ever entering ruins. But that doesn't mean that they don't exist within the space. For a human, you are quite knowledgeable about magic. I grin, feeling a little proud of my my effort of being recognized. Most people in Lucrain couldn't care less about magic. It's the first time my knowledge of, on the subject has impressed anyone. This is where I come in. Saber presents a number of talismans, each with a slight variation. I knew it. If he would have just given us the coordinates, this would have- It's Sorry. nothing personal, just business. You have to play the game, making sure your clients always come back for more. Luckily for you guys, I was feeling a little adventurous. He's the most sought after dealer for a reason. Not only does he know his inventory, but he's also known how to hook people. Yep, that's how it works. He arranges the talismans in a specific order, his eyes closed, as he chants a mantra in a language I don't know. A bright flash of light blinds my sight. Oh god, you could have warned us, man! Uh, can I see? Jesus! portal materializes, emitting a soft glow and opening a doorway into the Demesia ruins. Ah, my enter button broke there, sorry. Humans, always messing with magic they don't understand. She doesn't bother hiding her distance for Saber's solution, clearly disproving of his casual use of talismans. Ladies first. Okay, I think that's a perfect way to end it off here, guys. I'm really enjoying this game. This is a lot of fun. It's really, really enchanting. Like, it's very... 
Oh, man, I can't go over what we just did there and back at the camp. Oh, man, that was just... Oh, man, I'm that guy. I am that guy. That's brilliant. <laughs> That's brilliant. No, I, I'm really liking these characters. I'm really enjoying the atmosphere of the game itself. So, again, if you guys want to check the game out, it's in the description below. Play it, and if you got any, like, feedback or anything, make sure you let them know. Because feedback does help them. It does, it does help them to, you know, tweak things and help the game better. So, hope you guys are enjoying this. I am enjoying the heck out of this. And see you all next time when we go through the ruins.